Hey guys, my name is Nikhil and today I decided to take five Bangalore strangers out on a blind date. Hi, I'm Haya. <laughs> this is Haya and when I asked you what's your perfect date location, first date location, what did you say? New York City. Oh my god, that's exactly where I brought you. Look, wow. it's New York. We hot air balloon in like Turkey. And that's why I brought you to Turkey. Look at all these hot air balloons behind us. I appreciate it. I said Aladdin's magic carpet. Which is why, boom, we are currently flying through the Arabian sky. As you can see, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> a lakeside picnic. And that's why I brought you to a lakeside. It's beautiful. Wow. Yes. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Beautiful. KK, I asked you, uh, what is your ideal date location? What did you say? Home. You know, some people said Cappadocia, Turkey with hot air balloons. Some people said a lake and you just... Home, dude, seriously. I could have taken you anywhere with my 10,000 crore budget and we've come home. Great. Yeah, it totally looks like New York. Skyscraper? Oh, I thought that was the Statue of Liberty. Is that not? Oh, you're right. Okay, my bad. It's smaller than I expected. That's what people say, I think. <laughs> That's how all women feel as well. Now. Damn! This is our first date. I'm already roast. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? What do you do? Hi, so my name is Akshay Kulkarni. I did my engineering, went into working into finance and then I now wanted to move into a startup because Bangalore is getting to me. So, I'm a visual designer. Branding and like packaging, it can involve anything. And you can adapt to like any different yeah. Very nice, like a chameleon. chameleon. Jinx. <laughs> Hi, I'm Haya. I'm a content writer. I like playing football. I like to eat, so this is great. The ones are giving me food. You're here for food. Okay. I'm here for food. Uh, this is nothing. This no, is it's no great. point. My name is uh, Kamal. Actually, the entire name is Krishna Kamal, but I don't respond to Krishna, so I'm just Kamal. I have just graduated, which means I'm also unemployed. I'm going to rest for a while. You're going to rest for a while? Yes. So I did quite a lot. I studied for 20 years. Fair, fair, fair. I'm Nikita. I'm a model. I'm a YouTuber. I'm a coach. What kind of coach? I'm a pageant coach. Can you teach me today how to like pose for photos with my face? Just my face. You can try that uh, model technique, right? First smile, <laughs> raise your eyebrows, and then you stop smiling. Does that work with you? Relax your eyebrows a little bit. I've come back to neutral. <laughs> no, 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 it was fine. It was okay, fine. fine. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Mm. Alright, so let's go ahead and order food because this is a takeout delivery date. Let's bring in the waiter. God. The exquisite thing I've set my sights on. Oh my god. So glad. The name is Peter. Wow. Peter England. <laughs> I am Murti. Murti Murti. So your first and last name is Murti. My dad's name is Othman. What is his dad's name? Christopher. My name is Francesco Itali. If you would like to tell me what you would like to eat, I will get it for you right away. Actually, we just wanted a phone and we were going to order it on some delivery app. Meet, meet, meet. R2D2? Meet, meet. Yes, I'd like to eat. Wow, okay, so they can communicate and okay, he's giving me his phone. Okay, so what kind of food do you like to eat? So New York theme, I actually really want to try the pastrami sandwich. There is a really famous deli that does that, which was in uh, Hari Metsari. Yeah, yeah, where she's doing the fake orgasm yeah, yeah, scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Pastrami sandwich, yeah. okay. Actually, like since I've moved to Bangalore, I've really started enjoying Malu cuisine. So I want to get something coconutty. How about some sushi? I love sushi. Sushi, okay. Usually there are street food stalls outside parks. Chaat, perhaps? Yes. I want to surprise you. All right, so while you wait for the food, I wanted to start off by trying some pickup lines out on you. Oh. We've ordered so much food, but the only thing I want to take away is you. Oh, wow. You're blessing a little bit. I'm doing for the camera, guys. Yeah, I'm good. Are you climate change? Because things are really heating up in here. <laughs> are you a Pokemon with eight evolutions? Why? Because I love Eevee. I don't care it. Stick around till the end of this video to find out what the hell I'm talking about. Are you an RTPCR? Because I want you down my throat. Bro, <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is this? You're in a streetwear. What does it take to be stylish? I think mostly how you put it off, how confident you are. Try and keep it as minimal. But didn't you mention you have 70 shoes? Pretty minimal. Um, you've been in Bangalore for six months now. What are your favorite uh, things to do here? The thing about Bangalore is the people are always excited because. Oh, is that the thing? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Excited about trying new things, doing yes. new things. I think you just have cool friends. Tell us about your dog. We call him Leo. He's a very active dog, just just like me. Right, so you're a pageant coach, and you said you're gonna teach me one posing tip. Yeah, stand. stand. How would you naturally pose? Um. What are you posing for? The camera is there, no? Okay, that's a great <laughs> Hey! 
Make the smile real. Don't hold static poses. You can keep changing. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, change the feet position as well. Depends on what you're posing for. You could also pose like that. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna do a test to check our chemistry. What is that? Not this kind of camera. He's not behind the camera. He's gonna ask us a few uh, this or that questions. You have to pick one of the options and we both say it at the same time. If it's the same answer, chemistry. Let's go. Chemistry. Yes. Your ideal date. Stay in an order versus go out for a meal. Three, two, one. Go Stay in. Yes. Coffee versus tea. Three, two, one. Tea. Coffee. Off. An English breakfast at Hole in the Wall versus a really good dosa at Vidyati Bhavan. Three, two, one. Dosa English breakfast. <laughs> thick chutney versus a thin rani chutney. Three, two, one. Thick chutney. Thin rani chutney. Oh my god. Call the police. Bro, that is, sambar is the rani element. This is the texture, like the thickness of chutney is it's important. It's like a dip version of like chutney. We have to cancel this day. <laughs> idli with sambar separately versus idli dip. Three, two, one. Sambar dip. dip. Alright, so uh, I just received word. Food has come. So I'm gonna go get it. I'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Stop it. Peter, what's, what's going on? Sir, I'm so sorry, sir. You yeah. just took over my date when I went to get the food. Absolutely not. I actually don't know. What the hell? <laughs> I can't believe this. Ooh. Fish wrapped in banana leaves. And this, what is this? Chicken wings, but South Indian. Okay, nice. I got that. Very nice. Ooh, this actually looks really nice. Ooh, it is very colorful. Yeah, goes with our picnic uh, lakeside view as well. Do you want to fork my sandwich? <laughs> It's really nice bread. Right? Wow, this date is progressing at a rapid pace. Oh, yeah. It is it's a nice bread. Bouncy. Okay, tell me what kunafa is. So I've had it once and then I teared up and then that's all. Whoa! Oh my god. This smells so good. Mm. Okay, I mean it's nice. It is good. Mm. Oh, that is amazing. Good. And now that I had made my dates laugh, I had gotten them some food, it was time for me to bring up a conversation that I really wanted to have with them about deliveries and the environmental impact that they have. You know, we got this delivered. Right. How often do you think per week you make deliveries? Quite often. I don't actually. I tend to go to the place we eat. Groceries? Yeah, once, twice a week. Mm. I think on average I order probably 10 to 15 times minimum. And I've started to think a little bit about the environmental impact of it all. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of research about how most of the carbon emissions in India that come from deliveries is from those last mile deliveries. We as consumers should be more mindful about our ordering. We can't stop doing deliveries because it's become a part of our life. So if we all demand that companies who do our favorite deliveries, they switch to electric vehicles, we end up saving a lot of carbon emissions. Also no sound. Also no sound. How much quieter the city will be, right? So. I thought we could make the audience aware of it. With a little game, I'm going to ask you a few multiple choice questions. And if you answer them correctly, you win a grand prize. Of... Does, does Amita Bachchan say what they win at the end of Corn Bunny or Karur Pati? No, obviously not. No, he does. It's a crow. <laughs> okay, question number one. Can you guess the total number of parcel deliveries made in India in one year? A. Millions. B. Billions. C. Gajillions. Or D. Chameleons. I think it's like in million. <laughs> On average, 2.6 billion deliveries a year to be somewhat precise, which is more than twice the population of our country. How much emissions do you think the delivery of this parcel of food released? A. 284 grams. B. 90,000 grams. C. Instagram. Or D. Alexander Graham Bell. It's between C and D for sure. She's a smart cookie. A. Oh my god, how did you get that? <laughs> Correct, 284 grams per parcel on average. Oh my god. Next, how does switching to electric vehicles for deliveries reduce air pollution? A, because they're quiet. B, no tailpipe emissions. C, some of them allow you to charge your phone. Or D, I'm walking here. here. I'm leaning towards I'm walking here, but I feel like the no pipe situation sounds more realistic. No pipe situation is a weird way to say that, but yeah, correct. No tailpipe emissions. Oh, oh, oh. That's the Statue of Liberty. What are you doing? 
in the middle of the game show if india switches all last mile delivery to fully electric how much carbon emission will we prevent between now and 2035 option a 1.2 gigatons option b 4 option c yolo and option d zero because climate change is a hoax no it's not <laughs> okay so what's your answer i like option a Let's go. 1.2 gigatons of carbon emission will be prevented between now and 2035 if we start using electric vehicles. Last question. What hashtag can the viewers at home use when they want to tell their e-commerce companies to make all their last mile deliveries electric? Hashtag EV my delivery. Option B, option C, and option D. There's it's empty. There's no option. Uh, the first one, option A, EV my delivery. Exactly, guys. Ten out of ten. Oh my God, you're a genius. Boom! Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Got him. Damn it. You win the grand prize, which is um, I wrote a poem for you because this date has genuinely been one of the best days of my life. Oh. It's sure to make you feel electrified. Thank you. All right. Is the poem the grand prize? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, how did you do that? <clears throat> uh, cue the poem music. Dear colleagues, I had such a nice date. You're such a nice guy. Your eyes are sky blue, just like the sky. I look forward to the day your cute dog dies. Holy shit. So that I can be the number one in your life. JK, I hope he lives forever. So that we can all be a family together. <laughs> oh man! Yashasvi, why is it that? Visual artist, storyteller. You remind me of Helen Keller. Girl, you so blind to the love I have for your creative mind. Uh, time out. Yoda say second date we could. I hope you say yes, yes we should. Oh my God! Nikita, oh Nikita, will you be my senorita? Your hummus. I am Pita. If you are Mata, I am Pita. If you are animal, I am Pita. If you are Badam, I am Pista. Be my. This is the most original poem I've ever heard. Dear Haya, Haya, you take my spirits higher and make me want to hire someone so that I can retire and be with you forever. You have seventy pairs of shoes, but I hope you shoes me. This is a poem. I choose you. <laughs> oh, dearest KK, one more K, and I would think you're a racist. But luckily, you're just a fascist. Will you go on another date with me? Yes. Thank you for the great date, Haya. God bless you. Thank you. I had a, a great time. I love you. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Abhi main nikhil jao. This is actually really good. Damn it. Okay, cut. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and let me know in the comments what you thought about it and what I could do next. Huge shout out to my dates. You were great. Who am I going on a second date with next? We'll find out, huh? The main thing is we spoke about eving our deliveries. So if you guys feel like uh, deliveries are not going anywhere anytime soon, and you use them a lot, just like me, maybe we can start to use the hashtag #ev my delivery to ask our favorite e-commerce companies to switch to using electric vehicles. We can also be more mindful about our deliveries. Um that's pretty much it. I feel like something's hap what? Vishal, it's lovely to meet you again, sir.